Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Dave the Diver. This is gonna be the final episode of Dave the Diver. Every awesome adventure has gotta come to an end at some point. This game has been absolutely incredible and you are in for a treat because this final episode was absolutely awesome. We fought so many crazy bosses and obviously we're also gonna reach the ending of the game. I've been having a ton of fun and I'm so happy we got to do a full series on it. And I really hope you enjoy the last episode. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the game. Let's go. Is there gonna be some like giant boss in here? Or <laughs> what's gonna happen? It's stuck. Ah, oh, the control room door is still closed. The door is stuck by the divine tree roots growing from the inside. We can still go through there, I think. Uh oh. Hello there. Oh, sh what are you guys doing? How did you even get here? Did you go through the Sea People Village? What happened? I knew I would find you here. Wait, didn't you die, John Watson? John Watson, how did you follow me here? Made of eco-friendly materials and titanium, there's no place to deck and nine cannot reach. I saw a passage in a strange village, so I just broke through it. Ha ha ha. You don't mind destroying this beautiful primordial place, do you? I can't believe this. You are a germ in this world and I am about to sterilize you. What a hypocrite. I know what your sea blue did in secret. Yeah, we found their secret base where they were like uh, harvesting dolphin meat or something. So it was you. That is why the description of the suspect perfectly matches you. I'm suddenly very curious about how I was portrayed in the description. More reason that I can't let you go free. I, John Watson of Sea Blue, the Guardians of the Sea, will rid the sea of impurity. Oh boy. Another boss fight in Never Ends, dude. <laughs> How tenacious. We must finish our business with this one. How am I supposed to neutralize the sturdy submarine? Just gotta. I mean, just grab the controller. You know the jokes. The jokes write themselves at this point. Uh, oh, we gotta make him hit himself. Boom. That didn't do anything? What? Or do I got it? How does that not? Hello? Okay, maybe I gotta hit the bombs as they are. I don't understand. What the fuck? Let's see. Do I gotta hit them? Oh my god, you suck! That doesn't do anything. Ah! What the fuck? No! Oh, I need this. Uh oh, um, please? What? Aha, you are running like a rat. You can't even, you can't evade this one. The Kirisame of death. I was just trying to get the oxygen, excuse me. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Holy. Oh my God. Another boss. <laughs> what the fuck? What is that? An ancient creature of the Plesiosaurus family. Maybe a Chronosaurus. Unbelievable. A monster of death size hidden in the deep sea glacier. Fighting such a monster would be ridiculous, but if it has recently come out of the ice, it may still be sluggish and weak. Besides, there's no way I c we can get into the control room without confronting it. This is awesome. I can get the missile launcher that came off the John Watson submarine. What if I shoot the missiles? He must be dead. He wasn't wearing his suit, so the, the water pressure should have crushed him. Oh boy. Grab the oxygen first though. Dude, this guy looks insane. Oh boy. Uh, grab it. He's at least a little slow. Oh no. Boom. Dude. Yes. What the fuck? Eat that. 300 damage. Did it break? Oh, I can only use it once. Okay, well, that's fine, because we got this thing. And this is OP. Oh, boy. <laughs> that he doesn't just one-shot me is ridiculous, but I'll take it. Thank you very much. Please leave. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Uh he is very... Wait, I can use it again. Come on. Uh, what are you doing? He's got a fucking dragon? I'm dead. What? What am I supposed to do? How <laughs> was I supposed to dodge that? All right, maybe this will be the... No, he's sucking at the, the, the rocket launcher, please. 
Give it to me. Oh no, he's gonna blast them out. I'm dead. Yeah, <laughs> there was nothing. I just messed up there. Give up and return. You can just leave this area. I'll be like, nah, I won't fight this boss. Okay, now I don't have to use the oxygen right away. Don't get too far. Boom. Nice. I can't use it for a while. Oh, oh. I mean, it's still a little bit of extra damage. Dude, this guy is awesome. <laughs> back come on there you go he's coming ah shoot what the fuck i'm shooting him in the butt what is happening let go of this thing don't drop it in the thing uh-oh um yeah i'm a little stuck uh what the fuck yes do some special attack so i can shoot Don't start. Oh, how do I do this? Uh, oh, I just gotta hit him, so he stops. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. He can't hit me here, right? Get wrecked, idiot. Oh, I can use it again. Dude, this fight is intense. <laughs> This should be it, right? Boom! Wait, still not dead, man. <laughs> Guys, thank you. Imagine the tranquilite or the harpoon gun only challenge on this guy. That would take forever. Come on, give me back. And... Oh! <laughs> Well, we just killed a dinosaur. <laughs> that feels kind of bad at the same time. And we're going to serve him in the sushi restaurant. This shit is like... <laughs> we would get so arrested for this. <laughs> Hugh, it will be a nightmare if one of those monsters reaches land. No, I don't think so. I think people would love to do research on these guys. I've got to hurry to the Divine Tree control room and restore the device. Uh-oh, is he going to fight again? Another boss. Huh? What's going on? Dr. Bacon, mm, what is this drone? Hey Dave, sorry I am late. I was making an explorer drone to aid you as the glacial area looks dangerous. It has just been completed. Dr. Bacon, I didn't know the signal could reach this deep. It's the pride and joy of my lab. This drone not only communicates, but also does many activities underwater. All thanks to Duff here. It's good to see you, Dave. Such a large glacial ice. Such a large glacial ice in this depth. It is as if it was touched by Gabriella and her cold fingers. Only if I could soothe her loneliness. <laughs> mm, anyways, it looks like the roots are blocking the door. The drone can cut the roots using a laser cutter. Isn't that handy? Aha, I foresaw your hardship and added the feature. Aha, lucky. Well, you, why don't you activate the laser cutter? Oh, let's go. Gonna take a while. Can I please go grab? The divine tree is extremely hard, unlike ordinary trees. It will take two days to get it done? Do your thing until I am done. I will let you know when I am done. What the hell? This takes forever. And we get dinosaur meat for the restaurant. Chronosaurus thyroid gland. At least take all of it. Come on, man. Ornosaurus tongue? What are these? Why do you take this? these specific parts, you weirdo? Okay. Well, anyway, uh, we're going to have to wait for this, which means we're going to go to the sushi restaurant. <laughs> there you go. There's no way. That thing was way bigger than that. Because I, I guess this is just the heart largest number. Uh, 600 meters. New record. Look at all this stuff. We have, like three different boss meets right now <laughs> like we we got far too much and the crops have all grown all right let me quickly do that the crops have grown it's literally just one wheat thank you very much for wasting my time <laughs> you dickhead oh i forgot it's still only afternoon wait a minute all right i think what we're gonna do then real quick is just because uh i want to try and get like to the to the end of the game so what i think i want to do now 
is just quickly go to Gumo here to talk to get that mission done. Uh, and then I think I'm going to go around and get some sharks as well. And then we'll just skip straight to the to the VIP. Is he back safe? Great, they got back safe. It went all by itself to the glacial area. Children, whether human or animal, are full of curiosity. I'm glad to see the mom is now at ease also. Human, you really have a good sense of smell. Well, I didn't actually have to fight it with my nose. Well, anyway, here is something for my gratitude. Thank you, more sea grape seeds. And I actually bought a bunch of extra seeds as well. So, uh, we're gonna have sea grape seeds for days. Yep. <laughs> oh, wait, it's still not done. All right, because we got the 13 sea grape seeds. Seeds. Uh, okay, well, anyway, uh, let's go get some sharks. There it is. I got a ton of uh, sharks. I tried to fill my inventory as much as possible. I got a cookie cutter one, mega mouth, uh, blue spot. Oh, I got a bunch of stargazers as well because I need those for that specific recipe. I tried getting so many trevallis. Look, I got 30 meat, but I keep getting no giant trevally fins at all. I think I've killed like 10 and only gotten one. So those are extremely rare. But yeah, there you go. Everything to the fish tank. And now it is time for Bonsho Sushi. And just send everyone. I don't, I don't even look at this anymore. Just send everyone. Just just keep getting me more money. <laughs> oh, baby, wait a minute. We got a whole rice harvest, too. I haven't even finished the last rice harvest. And there's already another one. And all of these are given four? Damn, dude, we're going to be rich. This is disgusting. Every two... Every three of these is like... 5,000... I think something like that it's it's insane uh and then a few carrots as well and we i think we've reached that part of stardew valley where <laughs> you're just making too much money that you don't even know what to do with it anymore because that's always the part where i kind of get tuned out and i can kind of feel it here as well that i'm like starting to be like yeah we we beat the game like we beat the game so that's why i'm also going a little faster because I don't want to drag on the series for a really long time if I just want to... I just want to do something else, right? Because I, I love this game. It's super fun. But it's just... Uh, I have so little time that I tend to be way more picky on... Like, I enjoyed this so long. Um, I just like to play maybe a little bit shorter games. But anyway, we're going to throw our... Not our shark yet on here. We can throw this. Yeah, sure. We'll serve dinosaur. <laughs> we'll serve dinosaur meat. We'll serve... I guess every... No, because these are both sharks. Holy shit. Both of these are going to make so much money. I guess I'll just throw those on there with this. And that's it. Because I make this four times. And that's like... I don't know why I got so many shark dishes. Like, look at this. I can make this 42 times. 82 times. Like, I just have too much shark food now. <laughs> Uh, I'm obviously just gonna throw this on here. I guess we could enhance this to two I could enhance this twice and then you know what? Let's do that. Let's enhance this one Yes, we're wasting some rice, but we're enhancing it twice and then we're throwing it on here So that we can finally level up and then the rest is just gonna be this um, and we only auto supply this and I guess we can throw this on here Sure, we'll throw this on here and auto supply it too. Uh, then they have at least a little bit of variety. And this should give us gold or diamond even. And I think the last one's platinum. Hey there, friends. Come in, come in. Just need to figure out why the last two hours of my shift never make any money. People are serving. Maybe I shouldn't have auto supply this because people are gonna love this and this is already gone it's like oh wait no i only have one of it anyway because like the the more uh like happiness rating a dish has the more people want it <laughs> oh i guess i'll do this I, I was trying to pick up one of these and send them off but I, i'll just let everyone else do the work i'm just here this is what being a manager is like right this is this is how it's supposed to be you're just supposed to sit here and grind some wasabi and they move fast as hell. <laughs> How did they even run that fast? Uh, we started with like 10,000, right? And we're... I'm, I'm really curious to see how much money this is going to make. I should help because he's not even doing anything else. It, like, how is it already done? Okay, no, they're, they're making some more. I was like, what the hell? 
go, 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 go. I need to make more wasabi. Man, we got $30,000. This is like really satisfying though. Like, holy shit. And then the, the last little bit, we just don't do anything. Look at that. 30k. So that was another 20k night. 30k. Goodness gracious. And then we just awkwardly stare at each other for the last part. Look at that face. Look at Dave's face. He's like, uh, well, I guess we're done. And wait. I wasn't even maxed. That was not my best day. Damn. And we still got so much left of the vegetable sushi. Like that. Having just one dish that sells for a ton. Like an OP strat. Because you can just level up that dish and then you just make infinite money. Uh, but now. Do we get to level up or not? VIP day. Hmm, the fishmon this week, as detected by the radar, is what? What is this? It is a jellyfish with some kind of wizard hat? That can't be a real jellyfish. Goodness, do you doubt the accur accuracy of our fish radar? It was a very difficult task detecting this jellyfish with our radar. The reason was this jellyfish teleports around at incredible speeds. It'll disappear as soon as you go near. You probably won't be able to catch it unless you have something like a sniper rifle. About a hundred meter underwater, near the yellow shipwreck. Again? That's what my informa information says. Now then, keep up the good work this week. Okay, we need a sniper rifle. Man, why do you, the, my crops are so out of <laughs> out of sync. They keep all being done at all times. But now, can we level up in Kuksta? Rank up. There you go. Pl Wait, we already are at Platinum. Yes. Are we going to get like a special cutscene here? <laughs> I need to I need to look at if I can get some better staff, but I don't know, man. I feel like the staff is doing pretty fine. Cookster rating. <laughs> oh boy. Don't stare at my fish like that, you weirdo. <laughs> Go faster. Ding ding, let's go. Uh, how the fuck? Hey, achievement! Achieve platinum rank in Kuksta. And we get some new recipes. Not that we need anything. And more wasabi as well. And maybe we get more customers this way? Uh, wait, he, he doesn't have a wizard hat that's just part of his body. I mean, I don't think that would be a, a shape like that ever, but whatever. Um, now, can we level up more or is this the end? We can level up 375? Wait, we don't, we don't even have enough followers. Damn, we only got four, four twenty. Nice. Um, I mean, that's gonna take a while. How do you even, how do you even get a dish that high? You gotta level it up to like level ten. That's gonna take so much grinding. We do have enough research recipes though. All right, whatever. So what I think we're gonna do is, well, first of all, let's uh level up this to max. Um. I guess just level up the air to max. I really don't want to die anymore. There you go. That's maxed out. Uh, and then I'm just going to go try and find this and show you that. And then speed run the rest. Oh, there it is. Look at that. I have a sniper rifle. Easy peasy. Boom. He's stunned. <laughs> hey, let's go. That was easy. What do I do? No, no, no. Stun him. Do I take him? Good, another fishmon. I should take it to Udo. Nice. Wizard barrel jellyfish. All right, easy. I think I'm just gonna get out of here. I already took up a bunch of tuna with the Q, and I want to see the results of this. Yeah, there you go. I got, I mean, I <laughs> only got one seashell, but look at that. 27, 27, 27. So that's more than enough because I found a tranquilizer harpoon again. That's like the deciding factor every time. If you find a tranquilizer harpoon, you can go crazy. Oh, you brought the new fishmon for our collection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To think a jellyfish that looks like it's wearing a wizard hat actually exists. Surprise. Oh. Now then, we'll send you the fee when the issue is out on Monday morning. Please keep this up. We're going crazy. This is the first time I press this button. I have no idea what happens. Let's see. Time skip. Skip time. It will be evening after skipping. Yes, please. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Dave finally having some time for himself. Dude, this guy has been, uh, has been like working his absolute ass off for the last, for the whole series. He deserves a day off. <laughs> And now, it's VIP time. 
Wrap up your day and get the bunch. So here we go. Oh, and they come back uh, as well. And I'm gonna have infinite so and the crops are grown again. Whatever. I wanna do sushi. Get out of my face. <laughs> and then the shark thing is also very soon, which we are I just have too many resources. Like with the fish farm and like having so many days, you just get far too much. Like I guess I could sell all my fish. But anyway, here we go. But then I also don't really need money, so <laughs> why would I sell? Hey, look at that freaking eyebrow raise. Hello everyone, this is Yui from NDC Station. We have been waiting for today. Today we will see how this old conflict ends with whose victory. Bancho, are you ready? Yes. Pastro, Sono Pronto. Let's get this started. It's excellent. And let's begin. Challenge the chef now. Oh god, I'm gonna have to do everything again. Of course. Just re get this random guy to <laughs> do all the food pre preparation. That's totally not gonna go wrong. What if we just serve <laughs> poisoned food right on stage? I, w I watched a YouTube video today that was about the time that they did Russian roulette on British television. It was probably fake, I would assume, but <laughs> actually insane that that was like something they did. Oh, what the hell? Man, they make this extra hard. They want you to fail this. Uh, I'm insane with it, though. I'm not failing. Oh, what's happening there? What the fuck? I don't know what's going on on the screen. I'm just clicking on the buttons. There you go. I somehow did that perfectly. I don't know how. What did I just remove? That looked just very disgusting. Okay. Oh, these are all going to be super hard. W. S. W. S. A. S. A. Shit, I didn't know you were gonna spice it up. W S A. Oh god. Alright, here we go. Okay, I see. I'm insane with it now. Nice. It's kinda look disgusting, even though I love shrimp. I cannot mess this up. It cannot space. What? What? Oh. I see. What the fuck is this all of a sudden? <laughs> it's a freaking rhythm game now. Excuse me. Well, not really. Eh? That garlic. Oh boy. Okay, at least they're not sending them all at once. Dude, imagine. Hey, they make you. F I like how they made this one harder. They make you fight for the, for the. Like, victory against your arch nemesis. What do we do? What do we do? Spin! Spin in circles! What am I doing? Wait, oh, I'm spinning the other way now? Okay, it's it's spicing it up. I'm already done. I, that was the easiest thing I've ever done in my entire life. I just put ink on it? What did I do? <laughs> oh, here we go. Click the buttons. I think I only failed like two things. If they're gonna make me fail this whole thing, I'm gonna become the Joker. At the pasta. Oh yeah, we also. <laughs> of course, it was an Italian dish. Oh boy, what the hell is going on here? Rotate. Yes. Oh, it looks burnt. Click there. Oh, I see. I see. I didn't realize. Oh fuck. Wait, did I burn it? Uh-oh. It looks disgusting. Why does it look so dark? Oh, because you put ink on it. <laughs> I thought I burned it. <laughs> this is the most disgusting looking food I've ever seen. I know that's the joke that he makes like shit that looks disgusting and then it tastes good, but like what? <laughs> Black pasta. I know that exists though, like black pasta. I don't know that's the thing. A cat. Come on, give it to me. Yes, let's go. I mean, I didn't fail a single thing. <laughs> Mamma mia. <laughs> what the fuck? Nice. The old rival has been destroyed. These sucks, dude. 89. I did it perfect again. Human humbled ink pasta. Let's go. 
Mamma mia, I do this! <laughs> I can't believe it. I, Pastro Anto Giovanni, defeated in a pasta contest. I can't accept the judge's call. This show is lame and not worth my time. Orab horrible. <laughs> Damn, dude, what a sore loser. That guy is hot tempered. His carbonara was fantastic, though. It was unbelievable. I liked the combination of salty guinciale and soft yolk sauce. It was heavenly. And why didn't we win, Vincent? She's shaking. Oh Miss Louie, do you know why squid ink is used in dishes? What? Isn't that for color? Why bother making the color like that, though? Not really, Miss Lu Louie. The visual is only a part of the reason. Squid ink is reminiscent of the taste of nature seawater. When I tasted Boncho's pasta, I saw the dark and quiet mm -hmm. sea, black pasta, and nocturnal sea creatures dotting the black yeah. sea. I felt like diving into the dark, quiet sea naked at night. Okay, dude, why naked, though? <laughs> Tastiness is a very subjective experience, after all. Even for a critic like myself, it's never easy to be objective. Yeah. I like the taste of both dishes equally. Oh. However, I gave more points, points to Boncho for his near-perfect representation of the theme in every nook and cranny of his dish. Your reasoning is so absurd. You do know who is the biggest sponsor of your program, don't you? I do know. Nolan Crawford, the chairman of the BNC group, who is your father. He is also my sensei. You know my father personally? How is that possible? Oh, backstory time. <laughs> Let's go. And this game is, it is amazing. Like, don't get me wrong. When I was young, I worked at your father's restaurant in New York. Back then, I was nothing but an inexperienced apprentice cook. I was lucky to be hired by your father. Oh, hi there. My first job was cooking omelets. Although egg is a pretty common ingredient, it is one of the hardest to master. Very hard to time the perfect moment to flip the omelet in a frying pan. I was struggling to figure that out. And it looks like you made a big mess, man. Uh oh. Someone tapped my shoulder with a smile on his face. It was your father, Nolan Crawford. <laughs> okay. Ty. <laughs> he kindly taught me when and how to better flip the egg. He, the restaurant owner, didn't mind spending his precious time teaching a new hire. Your omelette still looks disgusting. I'm sorry to say it. Oh, no. His passion and creativity towards food were truly inspirational. He was always looking for new tastes and experimented with new recipes. He failed more times than I can remember, but he would succeed in the end. I see. He is now an entrepreneur of a large corporation, but I believe his passion would never change. I can feel it. Miss Louie, why don't you try Boncho's pasta yourself? Well, if you insist, here we go. Finally, she tries one of our dishes. Oh. <laughs> The scoff. <laughs> Ratatouille moments. Oh my god. She's getting a flashback of her whole life. What? Oh, because I see. <laughs> there you go. You finally tried it. Your piece? Should have done that from the beginning and we'd never be in this situation. I admit I was prejudiced. This pasta is incredible. It's not just the visual. It carries the natural flavor of each ingredient. And I criticized his dish without even trying it. Don't judge a book by its cover. That's the whole message of the game, I guess. I am not worthy to be a restaurant critic. Don't blame yourself. We just have a different philosophy about food. Poncho, I know it's rather abrupt offer. It's a rather abrupt offer, but... Would you be interested in opening a branch? A branch? Yes, another Boncho Sushi. Clearly, there are many people who don't understand your food philosophy. But if they taste your food at least once, they will wake up to a new dimension of food. I want to have that mind-blowing... I want them to have that mind-blowing opportunity. But your current restaurant is too small. And it's like in the middle of nowhere, probably. It's big enough for me. Your restaurant is already widely known. People will visit your place and drove sooner or later. You need to be prepared to maintain the quality of the food you serve. But if he opens a branch, it will be harder for him to control the food quality. He has staff members who sincerely follow his philosophy, right? It can be a manager. Oh, no. Is it going to become a freaking multiple restaurant manager game now? 
Manager, you say. Don't worry. Trust your staff. They know what to do to live up to the reputation you build. Trust your staff and let more people taste your food. But I don't have a management system and funds to open a branch yet. That I can help you with. I know how to operate operate a franchise. I am well educated in that matter by my father. I have the skills and money needed. And I won't ask anything in return. Consider this your reward for winning the contest. While I'm not sure if this is right, Boncho Sushi without me... Boncho, I think you should give it a try. Mm. This will be a good challenge for the staff to grow further. Mm, if that's everyone's thought, I have no other choice. Okay, I will open a branch. <laughs> what am I supposed to do, though? Order wooden planks or something? <laughs> Don't worry about the construction. BNC Company will take care of it. You just name the manager and decide what to serve with the ingredients, Boncho. Well, it's about time for the night shift. The construction will be completed by tomorrow morning. You must be kidding. Anyway, I realized that I was closed-minded about new approaches to food. I apologize for my poor review of your dish in the past. From now on, I will help you spread your food far and wide. I will contact you again when the branch is ready for business. Are you kidding me? We're genuinely... Dude, the only thing that I was like, all right, at least the scale of this makes sense. And then they go like, what if you have multiple restaurants? <laughs> oh, no. No way this is actually going to be a thing, right? Are you kidding me? We still got to do the whole night shift. Here we go. Uh, I have... This shit is so expensive. It's still not my best dish. Like, even though it's 900... Um, like, this is seven times. So this is way more. I mean, not way more, but definitely more. I guess we'll throw this back on here. Auto supply that bad boy. Um, and then maybe I should upgrade it. Because I've been, like, basically serving the same dish over and over again. This one is totally fine. Auto supply. Let's throw a few more on there and just have it auto supply. It's probably going to lower the overall income. But I don't want to use any rice for any other dish besides my best one. This one. Yes. Absolutely. And even enhance it once. Sure, we'll enhance it once. Oh, this one. My favorite. I only watch this one because I love it. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> fucking fish <laughs> oh no that's amazing that's like the best cutscene ever and then we'll wait I can do it again I don't know if that's I mean that is a pretty crazy dish I can still serve it quite a few times if I do this sure here we go we can do it again at this point it's getting ridiculous that we can only serve it once wait you can serve this eight times holy Wait, wheat and garlic and just one squid? That's the only thing we need? And that's crazy, but I'll throw that on there. Throw it on in auto supply. And then... I think that's it. I think we don't shouldn't put up too much more. We can make 120, 184 of this for no reason. Just just because. I can just keep upgrading that. All right, anyway, this is this is our menu. Got to keep it, keep it humble. The humble menu. And then we... Actually, maybe I should upgrade... Can I even upgrade my staff more? Um, I would like the serving to be slightly better if I can. Oh, it's too expensive. Right, maybe we'll spend some of our next uh, paycheck on that. Wait, this makes eight now? Wait, this made, this made seven before. Did I upgrade it? I don't remember upgrading it. Huh. I'll take it though. Or is this just because I got like a higher rank or something? Here we go. I'm um, um, take this. The faster we can serve, the faster they leave. <laughs> and then we can we can get more people in. I think that's I think that's the most important part. Oh god. Why am I why did I grab this one? To go all the way back here. I gotta go do the wasabi. Go! The wasabi! Go, 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 go. Nice. Okay. Boom. We're making an insane amount of money. And they're only... I mean, they seem to be ordering a little bit of everything. Oh. Oh, God. It's all the way at the back. There. I should have served you first. You take that one. And I'm so focused. Oh. Whoops. Ah! <laughs> I think that's it. But that was... I felt like we were serving more people there. Yeah, I think that's a new record. 
We do waste quite a bit because the auto supply uh, just happened, but that's fine. Holy shit, wait a minute. That was like by far the best day ever. So I guess putting on a few more recipes does help. Just for the variety. Look at that. Best. Yes, 23,000. Holy. And still 50% of the income came from the like special, the, the same dish we serve every time. Now what? I was, I mean, I guess it's just gonna be Shark Night because it takes two days for the laser to cut open the tree, right? So we're basically gonna have to do this first. Ew, I barely managed to cut it. It's, wait, never mind, it's done. It's very thick and tough. It is large enough now for a person to go through. Come down here when you're ready. Finally, I'm in the control room. It's common sense to clear all the missions before fighting the boss. In an RPG. This is not an RPG game, but being overly prepared does not hurt. Okay, this is gonna be the final boss. Broken control room. I think what oh, never mind. Hello there. Ah, Miss Louie. The branch is ready for business that quickly. The administrative agility of the BNC group is the top in the industry. Visit the branch with Boncho. I will see you there. <laughs> oh boy. A branch of Bajo Sushi is now open. Assign a manager and employees to the branch and send the required ingredients to run the business automatically. This is cool, though, because now you get, like, now I finally have a use for all those extra ingredients I just have piling up, never using, and it's the shark party today. All right, it's going to be a big day. Go to the branch. Here we go. Yup. Oh boy, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Why does it? It never ends, man. Even when you're literally about to do the final mission of the game, they open up the world like this. This is a beautiful. This is actually a better location than our restaurant. Oh, this is the branch. The place gives off a tropical vibe. Not exactly my taste, but it blends in well with the surrounding environment. I love how everyone is just... I mean, Boncho is working his ass off. Cobra, not so much. You're basically doing nothing. Music here. A whole new soundtrack for just this restaurant. Oh, ho, this is a time-proven theme for restaurants on the beach. Let me explain how to run your branch. Obviously, you need staff members to run your business. Open the staff menu below. Okay. You need at least three staff members to run the store. Hmm, do I need that many? Yes, because neither you nor Dave will be there at the branch. You need to hire a manager to supervise the business here. And of course, you need to, st to staff the dining area and kitchen as well, just like at the HQ. That is why you need a min minimum of three members to open and run the branch. Hmm, a manager? Right, the manager's the most important. It's because the number of ingredients available and the number of customers depends on the stats of your manager. It is best to appoint a staff member with the highest stats to the manager position. If I appoint a manager, they will run the business on their own. No, your manager cannot run the business against the operation policy of the HQ. You need to set an operation policy to give the guidance to the manager, according, according to which the manager will prepare the menu appropriately. So I should instruct the manager what to serve as I see fit, right? Like expensive dishes or dishes with the most ingredients first. Yes, exactly. Let's talk about ingredients. Open the ingredient menu below. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. The grade of your manager determines the ingredients used in the branch. Check the ingredients currently available and predict the sales revenue. Well, it seems like there are no ingredients at the branch at the moment. It's because it's not open yet. You can bring ingredients from the HQ or fish farm at any time. Click the deliver button, sure. You can send or receive ingredients from here. As I said earlier, you, your manager cannot use ingredients whose grade is higher than theirs. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? I'm clicking spacebar. Oh. Uh-huh. I see we're moving some stuff over here. Pelican eel, sure. It's rank nine though. Oh, that's it? I am not... I am sure that you now understand what to do with the branch. I now own a second restaurant. You don't do anything! <laughs> that means try the revenue. Only if you run it successfully, I might add. We'll see how it goes, okay? Let more people experience your culinary revolution. I'm sure they will love your recipes. Oh my god, we have a branch now. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Alrighty, well, uh, I have to take a short break because I have to stream. What's going on here? Uh, we are the branch. I can't believe this. Also, the music is vibing. I was sitting on the screen for a little while. What the hell is this music? 
Uh, and if I remember correctly, we need to put people in here. We need to add staff. Oh, yeah. But I don't... Wait, can I hire them from here? I cannot hire them from here. Okay, that's annoying because we have 24,000 to spend on our staff. Also, by the way, this game is crazy. Like, how the fuck? <laughs> they were literally on the, like, finish line <laughs> of what's... Like, of the game. And they're like, well, here you go. Have an extra restaurant. <laughs> like, what the hell? Okay, so let's see. We need to hire staff. Also, I haven't given the cat any food in a while. And I got some... Here, high-quality cat food. Look at that. I, I'm on top of the cat. Very important. Look at that kitty. Cute kitty. <laughs> okay, check branch. No, we're gonna hire some staff. Three. And we can upgrade them a bunch as well. Let's see. You are very good. You're good at cooking. Uh, let's see your details. Yeah, you're gonna be insane at cooking. So I'm gonna hire you. Check. Maybe you'll be the, the owner. You're very bad at cooking, but good with appeal. And really good at serving, too. Serve drinks. Uh, I'll get you two. Sure, we need to get some people after all. Uh, and then you're good at what now? You're good at both. Or you're good at procuring, too. I think... I'll, wait, what do you got? You can refill the wasabi? I don't think this really matters, because I don't think they're gonna have... Like, they'll, they're gonna work like a normal shop, but we'll still hire you and then sorry, Liu. <laughs> sorry, this guy, I'll leave him there. Uh, and then obviously we need to hire more people potentially. Um, there you go. This is crazy, dude. I love it. I love this game. Um, and then we need to, I could call some of these back, right? I could call, what is your stats again? You're gonna be returning in zero days. And this is only the morning, right? So we can't just wait for these people to return and then see which is gonna... I don't know why I hired all these people. It seems a little over over the top. Um, but definitely you. You're very good. So I'm just gonna train you. Um, love how fast these people get trained. They're absolutely crazy. And you get cooking plus one already. 200 cooking. You might be the manager. Um... 204 man maybe i'll put you on my main restaurant because you're actually going kind of crazy uh yes i could obviously just move my own staff over there but obviously i need them for something your appeal is insanely high i'm gonna train you this costs like nothing why is training people so cheap <laughs> but look at that he's getting 300 you can train them all the way up to level okay so now you're getting s insane diminished returns look at this He's only getting, he got like 100 from the last level and now he's getting 25. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to leave them at seven. That seems to be the sweet spot. Um, and then I'll train both of you guys as well. And there you go. Look at that. So this guy actually has so much appeal. Maybe that's good. Because maybe appeal is like the deciding factor for getting people in your restaurant. Maybe I should do that more because you're actually like really bad at appeal. You got hard, large procuring, large serving. I didn't even think about that. You got terrible appeal, actually. Should I, should I like try to maximize appeal more? What? Because that might, that might attract more customers, which could lead to way more money. So you're extremely high appeal. Uh, does appeal might not even matter for the branch. I'm sorry, Maki. You've been with us for so freaking long now, but I think I'm gonna swap you out for. Um, so you have 470, but this guy has like 280 more appeal and 100 less cooking. I think that's fine. Um, I don't know why I haven't tried to optimize my staff more. I've just been having the same people, not really thinking about it at all. Uh, and then you got 400 serving, but like very low appeal. And you got 300 serving, but absolutely massive appeal. I'll throw you on there. Now we got... And then maybe I can swap you out even. Um, or you got very high procure stat, which is kind of useless to me. I mean, I think you're fine. James is fine. How does he have so high appeal? He literally looks like a serial killer. He looks like he's going to put poison in your food and eat you alive. Um, I should train. I'm going to train these guys like one more time. Oh, that actually increases your skills still quite a bit. Maybe Mitchell's the way to go. He's got <laughs> those rosy cheeks. Get the people coming. Those rosy cheeks bring the boys to the yard, as they say. Let's see. Can he go? I mean, 500 appeal? <laughs> He's crazy. I, I think I'm going to stop here. It's getting too expensive. And everyone else 
Let's try this out for a night. But now where do we send this staff off to there? I think the staff is fine. We have one giant cooking person, one giant serving person, and then one like little middle of the road person, which the manager ma matters a lot, right? So maybe I should let, because you are basically good at everything. If I level you up like twice more and then throw you as the manager, just spend all my money on leveling you up. You got so much money. This is just one day of cash. <laughs> like, holy shit. Um, I mean, level 10, I think I'm going to leave it here. 330. There's definitely better people, obviously, but hey, this is, we'll try this out. Let's see. Uh, branch. How do I do this? Check branch six. Oh, I'm literally going to fly over there. Oh, no. I'm way out of a life feed of the branch. Are you kidding me? Oh, but I can, oh, I can access that from here. That's so nice. Okay. Let's see. Manager. Manager. Branch manager is going to be you, Carolina. What does that do? Rank seven foods are allowed. That's not very high. Can I level you up more? Is that going to change anything? I'm spending this just to see if it increases the rank. It does increase the rank. Okay, so one more level, which I can't do because I don't have the money. But one more level, and you could probably do rank nine, which I think is the max. What is this empty slot down there? What is that? I can't click on it. Okay, and then in terms of staff in the kitchen, we have you. You cooking like crazy. And then you look at that we <laughs> they have no appeal so i mean you got some appeal right hopefully it'll work um and then i need to send you ingredients how is this gonna work so i can send you up to eight this is such a complicated system um well not complicated but like all of a sudden you have to think about all this um i want just how do we send them all the like jellyfish things because those are the like glowy jellyfish where are those uh this rank six yeah i got so much of this um although yellowfin too no i don't want to sell it okay interesting um 200 so they can make the same exact dishes that i can make uh but i think i should go for the dishes that are easy so like this one seems <laughs> i'm i'm gonna just give them only jellyfish only jellyfish dishes uh and we made his level five as well i'll just send you 50 you know what I'm going crazy with it. We're sending like a hundred to you. This is the slowest ad system of all time. <laughs> See you tomorrow. What the hell? Oh boy. Why is there not? There's probably a button to add like 10 or at all. Okay. There you go. A hundred in here. That seems a bit over, bit over the top, but whatever. Uh, and then any other like expensive sushi. This guy. We have 40. You can send like 20. Oh, no, 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 because we're about to go into the shark festival. We should keep that. I don't think we're going to sell all the sharks, but I still want to have it. Uh, This is like I have all this basic ass sushi that I never use. I could just send that off. Why don't we send all our barracuda sushi? Because I never use this. I should actually upgrade this. Can I upgrade this? Uh, Because otherwise it's. Let's see, Barracuda. Oh God, what does it even look like? Um, it's in here somewhere. And this is this is too much management. Too much management for my little brain. There it was, dead Barracuda. All right, enhance this. Uh, and then enhance it a bunch more. It's making people happy. Wait, it costs only one to... Oh no, it costs 22 to upgrade. This is like completely useless, but whatever. <laughs> Oh boy. Anyway, I'll just send some stuff over there. Give me a sec. All right, there you go. I send uh, some giant trevally, some barracuda, and then the chambered nautilus as well. And I upgraded all those dishes, which by the way, like adding a hundred takes like a full minute of just sitting there waiting. Anyway, okay. Uh, so the branch should be fine. Hopefully they'll be fine. We'll see. Uh, and then I guess we're doing some fishing. We're doing some, oh, first farming because our farm is, uh, well, apparently we got so not many eggs. The eggs are not doing too great. Also, I just wasted all my money and now I don't have money to buy anything here, which is probably a bad idea. I think I'll just, I mean, the farm doesn't really matter. Not too much, at least, so, although it's pretty cheap. So we sh could just add a few. Let's see, what can we buy with this, this, this lowly amount of money we got here? Um, I will buy some cherry tomato. 
I don't I remember seeing that here before. Sure, let's buy only cherry tomato. I think that's a new new plant. We'll just add a bunch of cherry tomato. I played a game yesterday on stream that was Stardew Valley, but it was a horror game and it was so much more scary than I expected. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was not signed up for it because I saw the screenshots and I was like, ah, that's that's just going to be like a silly little game. But I heard it was scary, so I wanted to check it out. And oh boy, were they not wrong. It's called Pumpkin Panic. It's probably not up on YouTube by the time I'm uploading this video, but keep an eye out for it because uh, it's very spooky. I should maybe added I should have added uh fertilizer but whatever okay so let me because it's been uh yesterday I played last uh what are we doing it's the d event or the the d day for event uh the shark event which we already got more than enough sharks um I think all I gotta do I don't want to go to the control room before the shark festival so I think what we're gonna do here is fish a bunch two not two days then do the shark then go to the control room and then the game might be over i don't know i i'm just gonna just do one final hurrah night and we're just gonna try and find as many sharks as possible although first i should i don't have any money but i can sell wait a minute uh that's a sensor bomb trap i don't care for this this is five bucks i'll take it uh i got so much stuff can i send anything let's look at our phone because we haven't looked at our phone in a while how are you doing are you still alive or are you dead he's fucking dead how did he die I, I'm stupid. <laughs> I am the worst Tamagotchi owner. <laughs> I'm never gonna, how did he die? Oh yeah, he was sick. And you can't, so at night he was sick and I couldn't heal him because he was sleeping. And then when I woke up, I guess I forgot. Okay, well, that's just on me. Anyway, whatever, that, that thing is never going to live longer. Apparently I should have probably not revived him. He's safer without me. I'm terrible at this. Uh, I don't even know if I want to send this in anymore. Um, because I'm never going to reach 620. Let's just head in there. Let's go. What what weapon do we got? Because I was holding the... Yeah, I was using the... The flame sniper rifle. Because uh, I needed to do that for that like special jelly. And now we just got some fishing to do. Let's find some sharks. The limestone cave again, man. <laughs> they really want me to just be a one-trick pony, huh? They keep... I'm the last three nights I've gotten the... Or three... Even more than that. I've just been getting the limestone cave non-stop. And this is, like, by far our best sushi. So, yeah. Oh, well, not our best sushi, but it's extremely reliable because all we need is salt. I think all we need is salt... Oh, hi there, Mr. Shark. All we need is salt plus sea grape plus these jellies that are all in the limestone cave. Well, I guess I'm going to be spending a little time here just grabbing as much as i can all you can eat jellyfish buffet oh boy hi there uh what the heck are you doing here friend i'm just trying to get some jellies which i got a ton of jellies already a ton of jellies on a sea grape where are you going come back here electronic or the electric harpoon is so good i don't know if this is gonna be like <laughs> it might be a bit of a throwaway evening like i don't think sharks are our best food it seems like they really want you to like combine different dishes or like uh different ingredients like if you just sell a plant man we have that shark head thing right maybe we could bring that back that was like one of our first special dishes but maybe that makes it kind of useless now um i don't know okay well i think we're done here for now look at this Look at all the sea grape. Oh my god. They really, like, put far too much sea grape in this cave. You could just keep your stock forever. And then all these <laughs> jellies. I think I'll ditch this real quick. I don't want these Atl Atlantic things. They're just annoying. I need to kill them sometimes. Uh, but anyway, uh, now we need to find some sharks. Well, look at this guy right here. Hello, buddy. I don't think this guy is very good for money, but he's too fun not to fight. I mean, look at this shark. It's... This is like a similar size to the great white boss. He's like an actual baby compared to that guy, though. Uh, I won't use my... Actually, I should probably use my Q for this because this guy is like 30 kilos. If I wouldn't use it, it would take up all my inventory. I would love to fight a thresher shark. That would be the ultimate victory dinner on our last meal. Because the thresher shark, if you haven't watched the full series, has been like the most annoying shark by far. It's been killing me the most. Um... I've also been trying as hard as I can to get these giant Trevally fins, but they have made it far too rare for me to care about it anymore. Because I've killed, like, 
I don't know, 30 at this point, and I've only gotten a single fin. Let's see, is this the lucky one? The lucky time we get a fin? Roll the jackpot? No, maybe you need to use... Maybe you need to sleep them. I'm pretty sure I got the one fin from one I just killed outright without sleeping them, but maybe maybe my memory is serving me wrong. Um, regardless, where are the big sharks? Oh boy, there he is. <laughs> Hello, wait, that was close. Ah, get out of the way. This guy is a piece of shit. Let him. He's coming. He's charging. No, anglerfish, get out of the way. This is not about you. Uh oh. Just keep him stunned. Actually, I can use the iframes. Dude, that's insane gameplay right there. Using the iframes of one of the other fishes. Oh, okay. That was fine. It's all fine. This is one of the new sharks, though, that, like, arrived with the festival. Where are my... Where are the thresher sharks? Obviously, first gotta get some oxygen, though. Oh, there he is! There he is! Look at this guy. And I also got a heal just now. On him. He does so much damage, but I do a lot of damage, too. I'm fully upgraded. You don't stand a chance anymore. Look at that stun. What? That guy once destroyed my life over and over again. And now he's a little baby. <laughs> Look at that. How far we've grown. This feels like a victory lap right at the end here. Just showing everyone that I can no longer be messed with, even though <laughs> they're literally just living their life and I'm coming in to... Wait, I... how is that new? Wait, I've done... Did I die before when I killed one of them? I'm not sure why that was new. Anyway, oh, the sniper rifle. I'm gonna... Just assemble that. I think that's it. I think we're ready to get out of here uh, and go into the afternoon, find another few sharks, and then the big festival. There we go. That was so fast. Only 12 minutes. I thought that was way longer. Uh, and then 63 of this meat. 20 once again of this. I'm trying my best out there. And then so much shark meat. And 27 sea grapes. Holy the crops have all grown. All right, I'm coming over. And there better be more than one crop. If I come over here and there's just one lowly crop that's done, because you say the crops have all grown. Okay, it's four. Hey, at least that's something. And and it's also raining, which is really nice. Don't have to deal with this shit. And I already got the seeds. Man, rain is amazing. That's one thing you'll never forget about Stardew Valley. I have one dollar to my name. What the fuck? <laughs> I cannot put any... Wait, we gotta sell some stuff and come back here with... So we can uh, put some fertilizer on it. This should be enough. I just sold all the grills. I have so many grills. I never touched that stuff. Uh, let's see. Give me... Fertilizer. And then... I think harvest up here. And we should also put some more nutrients in here. Because we might have a bad harvest otherwise next time. There. I want as much rice as possible. This is done today as well. <laughs> I'm not gonna be selling that though. I wanna I wanna try and be in theme with the shark festival, even though it's probably gonna lead to like a 10k night rather than the 20k days we've been having. Alright, our potentially last <laughs> regular fishing session. Hi there, buddy. I'm just coming through. Get out of my way. <laughs> well, if you wanna mess with the bull, you get the horns. Or you get the poison dart, if you know what I'm saying. There's like no poison damage, though. Uh oh, I can literally just tank you at this point, though. I got too much. Maybe I can't. Maybe I can't. What if I just die? What if I just die instead? I'm gonna. <laughs> there you go. Okay, just literally face tank this guy. Oh, already? Man, I do so much damage now. Here he goes. More meat for the shark festival. And. No matter what, like, if we have a bunch left over, we can always send it to the branch, right? I'm curious how much the branch is going to make. It's probably going to be, like... I mean, three, four thousand a day would be really nice. It's just that at this point of the game, like... If I would play, like, five days, I have a hundred thousand, and that basically allows me to upgrade everything ever. <laughs> Never have to worry about it again. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the limestone cave again. Is this just permanent after a while? Or am I getting like insane RNG? <laughs> what is this, dude? This is ridiculous. I'm almost like tired of this shit. Like they're giving me too much money. What the fuck? 
This is unbelievable. Look at all this. Like, this is just a small part. And then you just keep going and it just keeps sprawling and sprawling. Then there's like infinite stuff. A tranquilizer gas bomb launcher? What the hell is this? I'll take it. <laughs> what does that do? But I need to try it out on these guys. Oh my god. That is insane. That's my new favorite weapon in the entire game. What the fuck? Imagine this on like a group of small fish and you can still shoot it like six times. This is just like straight up better than my tranquilizer gun. Uh, and also, look at this. This is new apparently. Sesame seeds. Look at this. Oh, oh that didn't even do much. Feels bad, man. Maybe he will sleep. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you serious? Okay, dude. Damn, this thing is very effective, huh? But I can't. I was hoping it would like mass sleep small fish. I guess you gotta like really hit it. Oh, come on. It's hard to hard to aim. It, it does work pretty well. Look at that. <laughs> just shoot it and then just smash space bar. Okay, but sometimes you like hit them straight on and they just ignore it. That's like the one thing I've noticed. So it's not always effective. But it's pretty damn fun. No! I'm into it. Yes, idiot. Why are you not getting sleep? What? Dude, this guy is insane. <laughs> He's too tanky. What? Wait, I was just about to like put it in my head that you couldn't possibly get the giant through Valley Finn through normal means, but you can. Look, I just got one by <laughs> like regularly butchering one of them. It must have a way lower chance though. Like, like, otherwise, how the hell are you ever supposed to? Let's see, maybe we get two times a charm. Maybe if we sleep, you know, let's try it. If I sleep this guy and then send, oh, come on. Uh, he is invincible, there we go. And then we use Q. Give me the last fin. I really want to upgrade my gun before the end, but if I can't, then I can. Show me the money. And in the meantime, I'll sleep you. Go to bed. Go to bread. Giant Trevally. That's not the same. Also, hi there. <laughs> in the middle of the action. Wait, I can't kill him, though. I can stun him. Or I can just do damage to him. Shoot him. Wait, he was literally in the middle of his animation. He hasn't even turned around yet. Oh, he's going. He's like, fuck this. I don't want to be here. I don't I don't blame him. Is he going to die to poison? Hey, come back here. Where are you going? Oh, he died to poison. Man, that's kind of dark. All right, well, I'm taking this. I, I, I think I'm also... You are just annoying. Always. This is the only reason why I had so much barracuda meat, because they're just always annoying, so you have to kill them. But I think this is going to fill up my inventory. And there's an escape pod right here. We are out of here. Oh no, it's it's just oxygen. Oh no, over here. That was that was a pretty good one. Once again, the limestone cave just giving me so much stuff. <laughs> oh look at that, the fireworks. <laughs> nice. And all this meat. How much? Thirty six this time. Twenty two sea grapes. Don't mind if I do twenty seven trevally meat once again. And it is time. For the big party, the finale of everything. I should probably just send you guys again. Also, you found bonus again. This person is amazing. Go get some more. All right, I'll check out the crops because you're telling me, but they're... Oh, no, the rice is going to be grown. Never mind. I want to see this and get massive rice. Crops need to be watered except on rainy days. Let's see, four. Are we going to get five as well? I mean, four for every single one would be insane. Three sometimes. All right, so I, I guess it, it. I think it's because of the nutrients being slightly low, because I got five sometimes when I was, uh, when my nutrients were higher. But still, like every single one of these is seven hundred bucks. Like, or like every three of them is seven hundred bucks, which is just insane. Um, I'll leave the rest to it, and it is time for a party. I should probably also feed you, right? <laughs> oh, you're probably extremely hungry. Why oh, do you gotta sleep? I wanna feed you and then you gotta sleep? Come on. And now we check. Check the sushi restaurant and whatever we're gonna put on the menu, cause... I don't even know. Check the branch. We get like positive and negative. We get like a uh, little angry faces or smiley faces. <laughs> okay. 
Can we research anything new? Oh boy, we have too many. I kind of want to make this because it looks so disgusting. I want to see it in action. Uh, what's the most expensive here? Seahorse Udon. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Get out of here. I got shit to do. Uh, and then, okay. So, Shark Festival. Well, we'll put this on here. The... Is the, oh, this is the Helico Prion, which is... Was this the... Was this the dinosaur? I don't think this was the dinosaur. Uh, but there was the dinosaur as well. This is the great shark. All right, we'll put this on here. This better be an insane amount of money. I'm putting some crazy dishes on here. We'll put the shrimp, the cookie cutter shark thingy majingy on there and auto supply it. And we increased our appeal by like an absolute mile. I kind of want to just throw this on there, but I maybe should just go for shark. I mean, this shark meat's actually pretty expensive, but if you compare it to this, like it is basically worthless. Uh, and I don't want to like auto supply something that's just going to eat it. But why else have I gotten all this shark meat if I wasn't going to sell it? Oh, so sure. We'll just upgrade it a lot so we don't waste there. We'll upgrade it twice. Upgrade this as much as we can. Oh my God. <laughs> there seven four okay now that changes things look at that shit it's now 500 sure throw that on there man upgrading sometimes like triples the price of a dish that's crazy and then i mean 200 i don't think i'll throw that on there i think with this like if we can sell everything we got here i'd be ecstatic because these are some crazy dishes so let's just try this every single one is a shark dish uh and give it a go and our staff is also upgraded i don't have any money to upgrade you more but here we go sushi time i hope i put them in the right spots i think i did look at what they're wearing shark hats look at these fools go fast buddies Dish. why are they getting what is that sound i'm helping out boom why do you get a star, but the rest doesn't get a star? Shouldn't they all have stars because they're shark dishes? Uh oh, why all the way over here? Why did I pick up this dish? I need to put wasabi on there. Oh my god. Good wasabi. And everything. We're making some money and we're only halfway through. <laughs> just the amount of shit that's like popping up on the screen is just amazing. I'm coming. I can clean this. I don't think I have a cleaner anymore. Wait a minute. I don't have a cleaner anymore. What am I doing? I'm stupid. I, I just realized I put my cleaner out of... <laughs> I put it to the other restaurant. Uh-oh. I'm stupid. That's going to ruin our appeal a tiny bit. Also, our branch is just sucking absolute butthole. What is going on over here? What are you guys doing? What are you just waiting? Give her the Oh no, they can't make cocktails. Okay, so wait, it works the exact same as a regular <laughs> as a regular uh restaurant then. That's interesting. And I wait, that means I can't refill the wasabi at all, because I don't Okay, that changes everything. So you need to put your self-sufficient staff in there. I mean, that was mostly my mistake because I wasn't cleaning the tables, which probably lowered the that look at that. We only got a 3.7 because I... Why are they pointing at me like that? Come on, man. I gave you so many amazing shark dishes. I just didn't clean the tables because I didn't have to do that before. And I forgot that I did. But anyway, uh, that was pretty good. Uh, still 20,000. And you guys absolutely did nothing. You just make some barracuda sushi. Cooking other tips. 12 people angry. That's because they probably couldn't give them... Uh, drinks and stuff. Okay, but that's interesting that it works the exact same way So you need to like make sure that they can refill the wasabi that they can serve drinks and cocktails and all that uh, And clean tables. Otherwise, they're gonna be in the same situation as I am. But regardless That was hello there a wonderful Monday. Thanks to your help We were able to get a special in the magazine we issued today. Please keep up the good work. I'll be back on Saturday Hey, hey New fish found a thousand every time we got a lot of money. We can upgrade our... I think I'm just gonna... Can I max out? I'm gonna max it out. I'm gonna max out my entire... Oh, no. Wait. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be maxed out. I don't think I can get that. But anyway. Um, I just wanted to level up a little bit more. It is now time to go to the ancient control room and see whatever it is. But before that, make sure this guy doesn't just perish in a horrible... 
disaster even though he probably will i i had that other guy he was so grown up and stuff you really gotta babysit these guys i mean that was the same thing with tamagotchis back in the day but i remember taking good care of those i'm just not really focused on this guy they only died when like your battery would go out and then you would like put in another battery but then they would be reset and you'd be like no my tamagotchi what the fuck Okay, you're still hating me. How about you play some games? What am I- do I actually- oh yeah, I gotta do this stupid shit. If I don't get it correct, will you just say like, I hate you now? There you go, he loves me. Okay, good stuff. Train, discipline you a little bit. Does that even help? He's just mad. Warning. Discipline. Okay, they're just- he's just gonna hate me. Let, let's not discipline him. I think that's only for later. Alright, go to the glacial area. It's control room time. Oh, uh, excuse me? Yikes, the ground is rumbling again. It's getting more intense. I should go down to the control room. I want to, but first I need to check if I can get a better weapon because my stupid head uh, brought a tranquilizer gun. And if this is going to be a final boss, I don't think a tranquilizer gun is going to do me much good. Excuse me? A level three shock sniper rifle? Okay. I think I'll take that instead of my stupid... Uh tranquilizer gun it's crazy how i've never been punished for not upgrading my weapons i just like open one crate and get like a level three mega weapon instead hey i'll take it never punished baby rage now what's down here a moment of truth maybe we can get some oxygen as well i already have bombs that is perfect we are prepared we are prepared for whatever lies ahead oh boy don't fight these guys i don't want to no there's so many enemies get out of my face Go away. Now you'll be able to go in. I feel hot air coming from inside. Well, that is not a good sign. Be careful. Go, go, go. Go to new region. Yes. I'm gonna say like, this is the point of no return. If you do this, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Well, I guess they already said that, right? Previously. The roots have severely mutated. The door is blocked by tree sap. There should be a way to go inside. New music down here. Find a way in. Let me guess. It's gonna be... Hello there. What the hell are you? Are you gonna fight me? Oh. Wait. You're gonna... He's gonna eat the tree sap. That's for sure. Oh, he's gonna nom 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 his, his way to victory. Here you go, little buddy. Eat your heart... Eat to your heart's content. Is he? Come on, wake up. There. No! Don't go down! What the heck? <laughs> Maybe I gotta explode it, or is there something else over here? Nope, there's nothing else over here. Okay, I mean, maybe I can throw this on it. Or are you going back up? You cannot go back up. I'm throwing this. Throw the snail. Drop the snail on there. Okay, this is not working. Let's try a bomb. And boom. Okay, that also does not work. What the hell? Hey, buddy, could you help me out, please? I really need you to eat this shit. Why are you turned around this way? Can you please go the other way? Or maybe I gotta explode this. I mean, I can shoot it. This looks very fragile. Wait a minute. Is this guy gonna be heavy enough to break it, though? I doubt it. These rocks do look breakable. It's literally just a snail, but I'm assuming it's gonna... Wait, what? It doesn't do anything. <laughs> I was completely incorrect. Oh, what was this? Aha, I got to put the snail on there so it goes down to weigh it down. Obviously, the snail is going to be important. Sorry, snail, by the way. I'm literally just dragging you around everywhere. He's just trying to live his damn life and I'm being annoying as hell. There. Thank you, Mr. Snail. Don't walk off there. You're going to lock me in forever. All right, I passed it. No, still, what the hell? <laughs> okay, I'm locked. No, the path has got off. What are those? Other paths are blocked by tree sap as well. Sea scorpion and mutated divine tree fruit. This is terrible. I must find another way. Uh, uh oh. No, no, no. You look kind of scary, man. Can I, can I eat you? I can't eat you. You're just a fucking. Oh God. Maybe this. Make it fall down. Ah! Oh, they died. Okay, that actually worked, I guess. Maybe I can make him hit this. 
This better make a big megalo megalograptus megalograptus. What the fuck? Grab it. Yes. Oop. And then I drop the freaking bomb. Uh, excuse me. Do I gotta shoot it? Probably. Oh uh, no, it's just time based. Okay. Oh, I can pop the sap using this mutated tree fruit. What if I drop this mutated divine tree fruit on the door I saw earlier? I guess I'm gonna have to take one. Come with me. No monster. You bees. Um, I just want this. Please leave. Please leave. You are stupid. You killed yourself. You literally. <laughs> You ended your own life. And for what purpose? I do actually really need this. Are they respawning? I feel like I'm being... I'm being trolled here. Anyway, I am. I do not mean you any harm. Literally just want to live my life. I mean, maybe you want to live your life too. And then this random guy showed up. Hey! No, don't explode. Fuck. It's, wait, no, I can pick it up. Is it exploding? Uh, it's gonna explode in my hand, huh? <laughs> mm, the hydrothermal vent is blocking the door. Is there any way to stop the water jet? Why did you... Idiot. <laughs> or maybe it's gonna be... Let's see. Let's check over here first before we go anywhere. Okay, we need to use this. Can I just pop you in there? <laughs> Can I just plug it with this snail? Probably not, but it's worth a try. Wait, maybe. Oh! <laughs> It actually works. Nice, it has been stopped. I'd better pass before it moves again. I'm gonna walk away. Uh-oh. That is a massive crater. Is he gonna walk over there? The top wall looks loose. It may collapse if the crater erupts a little higher. Thank you for walking into that. We're gonna pick these up. Oh, and this is gonna give more pressure. I see. It increases the pressure. <laughs> they're gonna walk off of it, which is annoying. But as long as they're close, I can do this. And then it's gonna explode. Creating natural disasters left and right. Please, gonna pick this guy up. I right, drop him from high so we have more time. And then go, 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 go. Yes. Don't walk away, you piece of shit! No! Come on. These guys are annoying as hell. Okay, I gotta drop them from up high. Wait, actually, do I? Can I just, like, tranquilizer you? Go. Oh. It's not in the right place. Are you kidding me? Maybe okay, that means I can drop this one. Oh, no, go! Yes! Nice. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Easy peasy. I like these small puzzle sections. The way up is now open. I should bring the divide tree fruit with me. I'm gonna leave you guys alone now. I'm sorry for ruining your day, probably. You're just trying to live your best life. Uh oh, it's exploding. It's gonna explode in my hands. Go faster. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. The door is open. It looks spooky inside. I should be careful. It looks spooky. Hey, I'm I'm the master of spookiness. That's my that's my forte. Or it's gonna be turbo spooky. Like the Stardew Valley game. Uh that looks kinda dangerous. Uh oh. It does look spooky here. I've just got so much oxygen, though. Like, look at that shit. Oh. I'm gone. Ah! Oh, no. What did I... I'm on fire. I'm literally on fire. I burned myself. What have I done? Okay, it's fine. Go down deeper. What an objective. Um. I can cover this up with you guys. But 
Hunter. Why do I even need that? Why? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> that was not my, not my brightest moment. I hope there's some oxygen around here. Or we're not gonna make it. That's a lot of tree fruit. Yikes, what are those gro- Oh, they're eggs. Why are they attached to the- Let me guess, there's gonna be more dinosaurs? Uh-oh, they're hatching. What the fuck are these? They're giant shrimp. Strange creatures have hatched from the eggs. Wait, those creatures, I've seen them in one of the Sea People's murals. Oh right, Tenzin told me that an ancient engineer altered creatures by infusing the divine tree energy. Or by infusing them by the vine tree energy. These may be the creatures. They have survived for such a long period of time, still breeding. Oh, I don't know what's happening. Wow, that fact. We're fighting. Just come over here. Come over here and all get exploded. Yes, yes, yes. Get in position and boom. <laughs> Insane. Okay, they're extremely weak. I mean, that was still cool though. Worth it. Hi there, Mr. Snail. You're coming with me. I loved snails as a child. I don't know why. They were like one of my obsession. I used to collect them, like try and find them. They're, they're cool. They're very interesting creatures. How did I get the damn shell? There, the, there are even more eggs here. Looks like they're ready to hatch, but I can't go back now. Oh boy, boss fight. Is it going to be a big one? There's a door there. It could melt the mucus covering the door. If I could melt the mucus covering the door. There's an intact divine tree fruit. Should I put that in the divine tree fruit device? I would say so. They're all gonna explode. Pop them out. Uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Just trying to aim perfectly. Do we have to aim this? Wait a minute, this looks like a cannon. Good, the contraption is working. Maybe I can melt the mucus by projecting the light from this divine tree fruit. And now it's a tower defense game? Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. Oh no, the eggs are hatching. I need to get rid of them before I can melt the mucus. Oh boy. Hold it. <laughs> this is so cool. And then melt. That was the last of them. Let me melt it now. There's gonna be more though, for sure. It's gonna be in phases. Yep, of course. More eggs. Again, I need to get rid of them before doing anything else. I love how you just have assumed that that's the case. Uh oh. It's, they are so weak, they take like two damage. Hey! What the fuck? It's gotten around my defenses. They're growing in number. I must open the door and escape. I think we're totally fine. They seem to be extremely weak. <laughs> I think we'll be all right. I think there's going to be one more wave. Yep, one more wave. Uh, they are immune in the cutscene, apparently. I will eliminate them once and for all. This is kind of satisfying in the fuck most fucked up way. Just pop so nice, okay? Boom. That should be the last of them. I must quickly melt the mucus covering the door before anything else shows up. Uh, There's going to be something big barging through the door. We have let out a monster. Nice, the mucus is all gone. It must be the core of the control room over there. Let's find out what it is. Blast my, I can't laser myself. All right, what's going to be in here? What is at the core of Dave the Diver? What is a boss big enough to fight it at the end of such an absolutely crazy game with so many twists and turns? I am curious. Uh-oh. That's some big fruit. It's going to explode. Oh, the offspring of that ancient creature are clinging to something. Is that the nucleus of the divine tree? Could that be why the divine tree is acting strange? I'll need to get rid of these creatures first. Okay. Cause of the earthquake. We found it. 
They make creepy sounds. I don't like it. Is that literal magma? Looks kind of dangerous. Oh, that's where... Wait, that's where you get your energy? You're just straight up tapping it from... From hot ma magma or whatever? Wait, do I gotta shoot them? Oh, sorry. I thought I was trying to find out one of those laser devices. All right, get off there, guys. It's been fun. It's been real, guys, but it's over now. No more. They're literally not even fighting back. Let me guess. I'm gonna accidentally pierce this and then it's gonna explode on the last one. Nope. Question mark? Uh-oh. Looks like the Divine Tree Nucleus has stabilized again. I guess this should do it. Phew, I hope the earthquake will stop now. I don't think it's gonna be this easy. I should start heading back to land dot dot dot. Yup, it's not gonna be that easy. Oh my god, what the fuck is that thing? <laughs> what on earth is that? Is that the mom of those creatures I saw earlier? No wonder there were eggs everywhere. That thing is disgusting. <laughs> it's like a... It's my nightmare. It's a fucked up moth. An underwater moth. Are you kidding me? Boss time. Go do your... Do your final scream. Do your epic boss intro scream. Why am I just question marking? Oh. It's gonna be a special battle. Am I gonna get an exo suit or something? Is this gonna turn into a suit? I tracked you down in case you needed help. What's going on here? The huge monster came out from the lava. Mm, I know what that is. I've seen a lot in the... I know what that is. I've seen it a lot in the texts about the ancient civilization of the sea people. Looks like the creature known as Yaoi. Sounds like a Pokemon. Uh, an ancient beast from legend. Still alive and it's massively bigger. Sea people elder told me about some old experiment. It must have been... Uh, it must have absorbed a tree, divine tree and the geothermal energy to get this big. We have to defeat it to stabilize the divine tree. Dave, I'm counting on you. What, how can I possibly defeat such a large ancient creature? You took down a dinosaur just a moment ago. Yep, we did. Now that was a different situation. I don't even have any weapons or bullets now. This thing is gonna be a weapon. Zap. Dave, isn't the weapon right here? Uh, Duff, what are you talking about? I told you, this drone has all kinds of hidden features. I knew this day would come, but it was a bit sooner than expected. I'll input the activation code for the drone's attack mode. Oh boy. I thought it's an extra suit. <laughs> or it's just gonna be shooting. Never mind. Damn. Wow, it can do that? This drone can maintain oxygen level, fire unlimited bullets, and even manipulate time? Ow. Yes, if you press right, you can temporarily manipulate time. It should give you some time to dodge attacks, of course, if you need you need to be quick. This is all the help I can give right now. I hope we won't be saying our final goodbye. Goodbye to... No. See you again, eternity. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, boy. Damn, that guy looks... Angry. <laughs> Yoy, that's not a very menacing name for a creature that looks like this. What the fuck? I can't just run away now, not after getting this far. All right, let's deal with this. Last mode. It's freaking. Are you kidding me? It's like freaking the old game where you shoot aliens. This is ridiculous. I love it here. It's a freaking. <laughs> what is this, dude? <laughs> it's like one of those old bosses in video games. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh. Do I gotta shoot that? Yes. What the hell? You're pooping out these light balls. Oh, it's gonna explode. This is gonna take a while. You're gonna take a lot of damage. Oh, boy. No, no, no. Easy. I don't even have to use slow time. Never mind, I do have to use slow time. <laughs> uh, is he gonna hit himself? That doesn't do damage to you, huh? That seems that seems a little unfair, don't you think? Uh oh. Uh oh. What the hell just happened? Did I die? What? 
Do I have to do it all over again? Our current attack level might not be enough. This enemy is tougher than we expected. I didn't want to go this far, but let's unlock the limiter. Why didn't you do that from the start? Who brings out their trump card right at the beginning of a game? Just watch this. Uh-oh. What the fuck are you doing? You're firing a mega. I call this the Stella laser. A super powered laser combining all our tech. Never thought we'd use it underwater. Pay attention. Hold spacebar to gather Stella energy. Let's get go. Let go of the fire button to fire. Easy, right? But keep in mind that you'll move slower while charging. So be careful. Good luck, Dave. A charge and fire laser. Huh? Great. Let's finish this. Can I still shoot the other way as well? Oh, no. Ah. The charging more. This is at the max. Oh, my God. That looks pretty epic. Wait, I have no oxygen. Wait a minute, I'm actually gonna die. Ah! What the fuck are these things? This seems cheating. Oh no. Uh-oh, it's doing a fire attack. That is very cool though. Wait, why am I getting damaged up here? Blast him. 600 damage? I feel like that's not even more damage than just shooting. Oh. How did that miss? I have no idea. <laughs> but I'll fucking take it. Bless them again. Uh-oh. Here he goes. Ah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Wait, what am I doing? I'm taking... I'm, I'm having iframes. I don't know what's happening. They're literally just leaving. Thank you very much for being terrible at your job. He's doing something. He's doing a dash, or what the hell? He's sucking up the enemies. Uh oh. Uh, this guy has so much health, what the fuck? I have 42 HP. Oh, this is already done. Charge. Nice. Dude, this is so intense. I'm actually like super dying here, by the way, in case you didn't see it. <laughs> Like one more hit and I'm fucked. Oh, but that was it. Nice. <laughs> First try. Unless, unless they just got a final phase. One more phase. Uh oh. Now it's a chase time. <laughs> Can I please get some oxygen though? Oh, it's trying to run away. If we don't kill it now, it'll continue to cause problems. Let's put an end to this once and for all. Please give me oxygen though. I can't do this with one breath. Are you kidding me? Is it gonna checkpoint here? I feel like this game would. This game has been pretty forgiving. Uh, maybe never mind. I can still do the laser. Oh no. Uh, I just took a bunch of damage there. Stop it. Because the laser blows me backwards. He's trying to run. Uh oh. No, I can't dodge this. Wait, I could dodge it. Okay. Uh, 22 health. This is no big deal. This is totally fine. Oh, he's doing a blast. Ah! Dude, why don't we do the Kamehameha thing? Where we like... <laughs> both the beams touch. <laughs> and we see who has the strongest beam. I think he would have the strongest beam. It just revives me with 480 health here. Come on, man. That's some bullshit. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> Damn. You gotta wait in the middle here. Don't fire yet. If you would gotten to this without any upgrades, you'd be so screwed. Uh-oh. Mm, I can't move. Oh god, I should have used... Why don't I not use slow time more? Is this even more damage? I feel like it's not more damage. Is this just 30 damage, like, every tick? I feel like this is just better. It makes you more maneuver better. I guess you should just use it off and on. Like in this situation, I can't charge the beam, but now I can charge the beam and then unleash a big one. Okay. Charge. Uh oh. Ah, I can't see. Did I even hit him there? Uh oh, he's gonna blast me. Oh! No! Damn, that's cool, dude. What the fuck? Okay, 200 health. This is totally fine. 
He should be down any moment. Although you don't see any damage on... Oh, there we go. He looks a little weaker. Or she probably, because she's laying eggs. Tired. Oh, now we get this. Oh, it seems like it's finally tired. Now is our chance, Dave. We need to end. Oh, never mind. Uh-oh. Run, Dave. Is it gonna break? The thing broke. Gonna get crushed. And then we have to do it with our own weapons. What's going on here? Oh, that was close. Look, it's using its last bit of strength. They've moved that open, moved to that open path for now. It won't be able to hold on much longer. What the fuck? Oh, okay. I didn't realize there was an open path. Uh, now I'm going away. I can still slow time. Uh, I hope I don't have to dodge anything at the top here. Get juked. Absolutely sidestepped. Bye bye. Oh no. Go. I just wait for a while, man. This slow time is insane. Lock in place. Just dodge. Okay. Well, this one's easy. This I can do any day of the week. Literally, don't even need the slow time. I mean, I will use it. <laughs> Of course, they gotta put the craziest boss at the end here at like 17 phases. <laughs> that is not at all what I expected when I when I saw Dave the Diver the first time that it was gonna have like boss fights. I thought it was just gonna be a relaxing fishing game with some like creepy fish and that's it. But there was so much more to it. The dead end, what should I do? Fight back! Time to fight. Oh boy. You. Oh. If <laughs> what the hell are these? Oh. Silly goober. Oh, now it's exposed. The creature's entangled in the divine tree. This is a lucky opportunity to finish it off. The drone seems to be malfunctioning. I can't pick up the weapon signal. What should I do? Is there anything useful around here? Use your weapons, dude. We've been working on this all, all the time. There's a huge divine tree fruit device over there. The divine tree fruit seems to have returned to normal. What if I put it in there and operate it? No, it's too big. I can't possibly move and aim it all by myself. Who's gonna help? Is it gonna be Suwam? Don't steal. Oh, okay. Hey, never mind. I was hoping it wasn't just him, but that's fine. As long as he's not stealing my valor. Are you all right, human? Oh, sea people. You came down here because you didn't come up even though the divine tree has stabilized. Is that yoy? Has it grown that big over this long a time, a period of time? It seems like we need to defeat that creature to end this. This is our chance. While it's tied up, let's finish it off. That won't be enough unless we use the divine tree fruit device over there. Well, given my expertise in both both physics and math, it seems like we might need to adjust the angle of the device upwards. Well, that might work, but it looks incredibly heavy. We'll help. If five of us combine our strengths, we can do it somehow. You can bring the divine tree fruit and put it in. There's no time. Oh, boy. Teamwork makes the dream work. Are they I love that it's like five pngs pushing against the 3d object here <laughs> like sometimes the art looks a little strange in this game oh okay i see how it works all right hold on to it guys i should probably do the furthest one first let's use this one first because i'm probably gonna have to do this a bunch of times this seems this seems smart even though kind of cheesy <laughs> Laser time. The sea, the divine tree bazooka was conveniently hanging here. All right, I'm ready. The device is responding. It's time to end our long history. You pesky nuisance, take this. I don't think it's going to be over with one blast, but maybe. Oh, 
Let's go. Wait, I did a good achievement. Caught all bosses achievement. I've done all, every single boss in the game. My aim was precise. It won't recover from that state. Dude, this has really been an incredible journey. You did a great job, human. Let's go back to the Sea People Village and talk. Look at that disgusting. <laughs> like his guts all over the place. I don't think I'll recover from that, no. Jesus. We did it. We beat the damn game. Time for victory lap. The water temperature has stabilized and the divine tree fruit is also in good condition. The villagers who were ill seem to be slowly improving. We faced many challenges, but it's a relief that we've managed to overcome them. I think the earthquakes in the mainland on the mainland will stop as well. How about going up and checking the status? Good job, human. Come and visit us often. Let's go. Everyone's happy. And it's going to be a beautiful day outside. No earthquakes to be seen. Epilogue, friends. What's good? Um, yeah, I caught like a few fish. Also, my deepest yet, 721 meters. And you can see the branch over there, by the way. I thought we placed the branch somewhere else, but I guess we're on the same island. Aren't we like strictly competing with each other then? That seems a little strange, but okay. <laughs> Look at that. He's literally over there. Wrap up your things and get ready at Boncho. It's already nighttime. It's been a long day. I think I'll drop by Boncho Sushi. Take a screenshot. What is this? Garbage? There's garbage? I need to clean the garbage. I literally can't do anything else. There's gonna be like something special here. <laughs> I mean, these devs are like, this is one of the like most polished games I think I've ever played. Like there's so much, so much here. Like n every like little mo, every hour in this game is just completely different because of all the stuff they keep throwing at you hey there dave you're finally back but what i would like to see and maybe there is something like that is like an ng plus mode where you can have everything plus like the the branch restaurant unlocked from the very beginning that would be kind of interesting to see how that would change up the like uh the way you make money but i guess it wouldn't really work for the story because right now it feels a little like it feels because it had such a cool story, it made it more, way more interesting for a first playthrough. But it doesn't have that, like, Stardew Valley replayability where you just, like, can start over and just do everything again. Uh, hey there, Dave. Because you already know what's going to be available later. And you just kind of feel like you're being, uh, like, railroaded. And you just, like, <laughs> you're on rails and you're just going through the story. And you have not, you don't have access to a lot of the stuff you want to have. Um... Hey there, Dave. You're finally back. Oh, everyone's gathered here. We heard from Dr. Bacon. You've accomplished a lot. You did a good job. How about we all relax today and enjoy some food together? Oh, awesome. I was worried I might have to get right back to work. Great. We should all celebrate together. How, uh, Dave, that would be another interesting thing if they would have made Dave, like, progressively skinnier because he has been working his ass off. Yeah. It's been a while, Bancho Shushi. How are you, Sammy? Are you enjoying your life here? You know it. There are times when I get a bit bored, but it's also incredibly inspiring. Yo. Yeah. This new song that I recently released, Farmer Daddy Online, has been getting great feedback, you know? So you're ma still making music, huh? For sure. The sound of a hoe hitting the ground, the clucking of a hen. It's all just one big beat to me, yo. Jesus. Why didn't you come in person? Because I am waiting for an important parcel today. I've been inspired from afar by your bravery, Dave. The way you fought tirelessly to save the Sea People Village. If you were a beautiful girl, I might have joined your fandom. I've poured all my energy into weapon research to prepare for any upcoming crises. As your colleague, I'm counting on your continued efforts, Dave. Hmm, alright. Aha, a true feast. You're always so busy. We've hardly had the time to chat. Now that things are calmer, I'll I'll have plenty of time to share with you some more of my stories. Um, sir? Back in my diving days, I was mostly into free diving, and I wore the necklace my father gave me. But barracudas have a tendency to attack anything that shines. Out of nowhere, a school of barracudas came at me. Even worse, I didn't even have a, a harpoon that day. I figured fleeing might be more dangerous, so I swam straight towards the barracudas. Whoa, I think I... I I think the ground just shook. Huh? Uh, I didn't feel anything. We literally just lied to him. Dave, you've worked really hard. It's gratifying to see your venture prospering. 
That's largely thanks to you for providing such reliable staff. You must have had your plate full with all kinds of things. But now I hope you can support Boncho in running the restaurant effectively. Boncho's a bit stubborn and might stir up some pro some problems if left to his own devices. Hey Dave, your assistance has really helped elevate my status at the company. We have a new reporter now, which lightens my load a bit, so I can even afford to join in these evening gatherings. Since I cannot drink beer, I stick to non-alcoholic drinks though, haha. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that I was helpful, so you don't need me to help with the reporting anymore, right? What are you talking about? I still don't know how to dive. If there's anything I need help with, I'll come looking for you. <laughs> Good job, Dave. I only opened a shop here because this place has plenty of fish. Who knew it had such a secret? Oh, you've solved the problem now, and my business is booming. I love how he keeps calling it his business, even though he's done absolutely nothing. <laughs> like, I've done everything. I guess my decision was right after all. It was a fun experience. Coming here was a good idea. I'm thinking about seeking out another adventure. What do you think? Let's just rest for now, Cobra. First time seeing you at the shop, huh? Well, I just submitting my paper, so I'm a bit free. Good, I'm glad for you. That eco bag there, I haven't seen it before. You have sharp eyes. It's the reward for maxing out the eco watcher level. How did you do that? I've been grinding for for like the whole game. It's a service that prints the face faces of users committed to environmental protections on a bag. <laughs> okay. You've really been putting in a lot of work since you got some free time. I can't fall behind. Oh, ho, ho. Ah, Sato, you made it too. Aha, I heard you've been venturing into glaciers to collect Marinka. And I thought I'd show some support. Well, that's not quite true, but... Thanks to you, my world ranking keeps getting better and better. Now that the big event is behind us, let's see about gathering the remaining Marinka. Oops, just remembered, I forgot to turn off the lights after Giao went to sleep. Me too, I did that as well. I've been a terrible Giao father or whatever. Still can't believe what happened. Not just the sea people's civilization, but the village too. You even solved their crisis, great job. From now on, we should keep the civilization secret. They need to maintain the peace they've regained. Although it was quite the roller coaster, I've learned so much from Boncho. I wonder if I was too focused on fancy food and missed out on what the true flavor is. But I can't get myself to eat that grilled shark head over there. Anyhow, please keep running the branch smoothly and sharing more wonderful dishes with people, Dave. I'm sorry, I couldn't be of much help. I was busy at the shop. You've genuinely been the only person who has been of great help, so don't you dare say that. Boncho, you've been a hero. What are you talking about? That's what I'm saying. The sea people loved your cooking. Mm, if that's the case, I'm glad. No, there are no more earthquakes. Let's get to work. Oh, Vincent, are you here alone tonight? I didn't come here to raid your restaurant today, so don't stress. Take it easy. When I dine in peace, I can savor the intricate flavors more. It's delicious. I'm happy to hear that. Mm, I guess my prejudices have worn off. But there's no denying that there has been a slight change to the taste. Really, the taste changed. It's a bit smoother. You could say it's softer. Before the dishes were brimming with the chef, chef's strong-willed style, now it feels more accommodating to the customer. Interesting, so that translates into the taste as well? Well, that might just be my perception. Okay, interesting. Uh, phew, it was a lot tougher than I thought, but I met a lot of nice people in the end. Looking back, it was a fun adventure. These were, maybe the adventure was the friends we made along the way after all. I never would have visited a place like the Sea People Village in my life were I not given the opportunity. Okay, let's relax and go for another exciting dive. Let's go! <laughs> we did it. This is a great game. Like, it's like a must play if you're a fan of relaxing games. And I, I it's gained quite a bit of like attention as well like have absolutely deserved of course it's such a weird game <laughs> i've never played anything where like the mechanics are so volatile where like every other hour there's just like new stuff that gets dropped constantly it create like this is game it like what you expect with these games what you've come to expect is that it's literally just uh also what does he have what is he what is he ordering Oh my god, of course. 
Like, what you expect with these games is that you just get, like, basically everything from the start, and the only limiting factor is how much money you can make to buy it. That's it. But in this game, it was all, like, just slowly drip-fed to you, so you wouldn't be, over wouldn't be overwhelmed right at the beginning. Um, and it led to some incredible pacing. Now, as I said, it might hurt the replayability slightly, but I think that's totally worth it to create, like, a really unique game that we really haven't seen much before. And just like a master class of... I mean, the story was a little... Like... Oh my god, look at that. A little... Uh, uh, cheesy here and there. And there were some like very cliche characters. But... Like, it had the vibes to make up for it. Like... Everything fit very well into what they were trying to achieve. And Dave finally getting some rest. Yeah, oh no. Not again. This is how we started. <laughs> Good job, Dave. You can rest now. I'm assuming it doesn't end here. I'm just curious what happens after. Like, you can probably just keep going forever. Shooting star, make a wish. Uh-oh. Never mind, it's not over. What the fuck? Did our sushi restaurant just blow up and become a rocket? What is going on? <laughs> Wait, they blew up my franchise. <laughs> Excuse me? What's that all about? <laughs> what the fuck? Um... What the actual fuck is- Is this a dream? This is a dream. What is going on? Ah, oh, the credits. <laughs> Are you kidding me? They made the credits into a minigame? Can I go into the rocket? Wait. Oh, no! Run! I, oh, I gotta hit these? I gotta get the developers? What am I doing? I see. I gotta shoot the developers. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, no. <laughs> of course oh, a game like oh there's 28 developers left i got this this is amazing yeah like i know a lot of you guys that have been watching the series have been playing it alongside me and probably many of you got to hear way earlier than i did um and i'm very glad i played it i i know this the these last i don't know if i made it two episodes or one episode because it's like six hours of recording so i probably made it into two episodes i don't know uh, I don't know how the edit looks like, but, um, like, I made it seem like I was a little dumb with it, and that's just because the game is very long. Like, I, the way I play games, I have so little time, I tend to, uh, like, hop between games as soon as I find something that, like, uh, does something new for me. Like, for example, right now, Borrow Trauma has been really interesting, because it kind of feels like I'm coming back to some of my roots with, like, more, like, uh rim world type games where you're just like playing something really difficult because this game is like it's very fun very satisfying but it doesn't really provide any sort of challenge it's just there to, to relax with and just chill and catch some fish which is like the music has been amazing the soundtrack was really cool there were so many songs for every little situation um Obviously, a lot of, like, text, a lot of reading, which can, like, put off some people. But it doesn't bother me at all. I don't, I don't mind reading. Um, and just, uh, like, I like to play many different games because I am very interested in games. I mean, I studied game design literally in university. So, <laughs> there's this, like, uh, I've gone pretty, pretty deep on all that stuff. And to see a game that, like, teaches me something new about game design is really fun. Like, I, I am so glad I played this. And I have, like, this new concept for, like, interesting pacing in a type of game that's like this. Because there's a lot of story games and RPGs that have good pacing with, like, drip-feeding you content. But I've never played as, like, a, like a farming sim that has such well, like, is so well paced. Cause, and like, Stardew Valley has a great story as well, by the way. And like, Stardew Valley does it differently. It does it by like having events and like having different days with like birthdays or like some days it rains and you can do all kinds of other stuff. And the seasons are kind of the way of the pacing, but it is mostly up to the player to like make the pacing happen. Whereas here, you're literally just along for the ride. Like, yes, you have input in what you're doing, but it felt like I was kind of just pressing buttons at some point. Like the story was just like going somewhere and it was going there. <laughs> uh, like no matter what I did. I didn't kill the last two developers, no. <laughs> well, sorry, those last two, there they go. <laughs> 
What the fuck, dude? That's a screenshot right there. If you see that out of context, you're like, what the hell is going on in this place? <laughs> and now what? It's, it's gonna continue, right? Look at that. We did it. Thank you for playing. Well, thank you for making the game. Very well done. And I, this game was only in like early access for like a week or something, or not a week, for like a year or something, I think. Like it was, there must have been a large, I mean, as you saw, like 32 developers, a large team. Um, like how else do you make a crazy game like this? So fast. What's going to happen? Dave the Diver 2? Oh. That, that's it? <laughs> Watch the ending credits achievement. I'm really curious what's going to happen now. I don't think we're going to keep going after this. Because it's probably just going to be infinite. Did you sleep well, Dave? Yep, I'm finally getting some sound sleep. I even dreamed I was exploring space. Things should calm it down a bit for now. Well then, check on any unfinished business. And then let's have a blast running Boncho Sushi. Sweet dream. Mini game space diver. I can play that now. Okay, so I'm assuming... Wait, what is this? Some kind of mail is here. Should I check it? A cucumberers? Hello, folks. We are a group of people who are just addicted to cucumber. You can simply call us the cucumber holics. If you see anyone picking cucumber out of their food, tell them they need to learn how to appreciate the true taste of cucumber. Who picks cucumber out of their food? It's like the least offensive food in existence. It's just water with like a slight taste. Like <laughs> We will host a cucumber party in three days to educate people on cucumber's great taste. They're delicious and they're great for your skin. Any store owners who serve dishes containing cucumber may participate in cooking contests. Remember, cucumber is green love. So there's going to probably be endless like uh, festivals, endless, well, maybe not endless, but almost endless uh, of those special fish you can find. And you can obviously do a lot more experimentation with your branch restaurant as well. The cucumber holics. Well, not everyone loves cucumber. In fact, I don't like cucumber either. I can't stand the smell. What? <laughs> there are many recipes that use fresh cucumber. Anyway, they're hosting an event around here. I need to prepare to boost revenue that day. By the way, have I seen any cucumber at the farm? I should go ask Otto. Okay, well, we're gonna make cucumber, but I think that is gonna be the end for us. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching over on YouTube. Thank you so much for supporting anything that's not like purely horror related. There were definitely some like horror tangent. Like I love these games because it allows me to kind of lure people in with like specific titles that makes it seem like it's a little bit of a different game while not being like a lie or clickbait like obviously most of my titles were focused on the like crazy fish i found in that episode and then i it's like how vsauce used to say like you people don't like to learn but they love a good explanation so if you like uh lure them in with an interesting question and you explain and you like give them a fun explanation and they have accidentally learned a bunch of stuff about science that is just like a nice side effect you gotta because like people are on this channel for horror which is like because most of my videos are that but something like dredge which dredge is obviously more horror than this one something like dredge something like dave the diver uh like these games are stuff that i love to play myself and i've played a ton in the past and it's fun to try it's also a nice little youtube exercise for me because a lot of the stuff is just like i i just but like title of the game is terrifying scream face plus screenshot of the game and it's like done which that's like if if most of my videos weren't like that i would never be able to upload twice a day so yeah it's like i need those games to be able to do what i do every day but these type of games where it takes a little bit more effort where i actually like recording off stream so i'm doing even more recording like i don't do that because it's like a it's like work or a chore like i genuinely love doing this and it not just it's fun to play these games it's fun to see the reaction see you guys love it and say like oh i saw this game because of you and i tried and i'm playing it now and i'm having a great time because i love games like <laughs> when i stop streaming i launch a game i am like playing games every day i'm like a gamer at heart that's why i started streaming that's why i studied game design like i just love games sometimes i'm just like playing far too many games so like all the time i'm playing far too many games like i I'm, i just get so obsessed with the with games and all kinds of different genres um so it's really fun to be able to because that's why i made videos in the first place to share that love of games not just to scream at horror games even though i love horror games and it's every i've actually come to like 
appreciate horror games more and more the more I played them. When I started becoming a horror game channel, it was partly because some of the games I really enjoyed at the time were horror. Phasmo is an incredible masterpiece. Like, I love playing Phasmo to this day, and I cannot wait for the update. And I'm glad we also got to finish this before the update, by the way. Um, but yeah, there there's way more than just horror games that I enjoy. And I actually haven't played much horror games casually. I think that's more of an effect because I, like... like I am most of my work related like the streams are horror games so then when I don't when I'm not streaming I tend to play the games that I can't play on stream uh, but yeah games like these allow me like an, a fun YouTube exercise where I'm like how can I bring people into this game obviously it doesn't work it doesn't work for everyone especially because the series is so long like the last few videos of the series didn't get barely any views but that's totally fine because that's to be expected this is literally the same when I upload any horror game that's multiple episodes the first episode will get like a absolute metric ton of views and then the second and third i think with the dead space dead space is a good example game came out recently i think the first video has like two hundred thousand, and then the second has 40k like it's it's just people don't like series uh anymore on youtube it's crazy how that how that environment has changed on youtube people like i was looking at the at pewdiepie's amnesia playthrough which is obviously extremely ancient ancient at this point but they're like 10 minute videos and there's just 40 parts 40 parts of 10 minute videos to play through a single game and i did that now by just doing one five hour video like the, the youtube environment has changed so much it's it's favored these like uh for specific i mean there's lots of different niches but for gaming it's really about full games like full games has gotten such a people love to binge just one video at least that's that's what i have noticed with my stats like if i upload a video that's shorter than 30 minutes it can be the best video I've ever made. There's a 99% chance it'll flop mega hard. Not because the first day is bad, but it's because it's not getting any views down the line. Like, for some reason, if a video is um, is short, YouTube stops recommending it. Like, my average view time is like 30 minutes for a reason. Because people just click on a video and then they just watch the video all the way. Or, or some people do, most people don't. But it averages out to be 30 minutes every time someone clicks on your video. Which means that... By default, your video's got to be longer than 30 minutes to keep up that average, and YouTube really punishes you for not having reaching those averages. So it's that's one of the things that's kind of been especially annoying uh, for a while now. That like I I have to find horror games that are like two hours long, and there's like so many short horror games that are like 10 minutes long or 20 minutes long, which are really fun and allow you like a different type of horror that I really don't get to experience or experiment with much because they just suck on YouTube and they're just like not worth my time and like my upload slot. But anyway, I'm completely rambling now, uh, although it's I always like to ramble in these types of videos because I know the people that watch it and especially watch it this long. I think we are like 15 episodes deep or something. It's crazy how long this series has lasted. Uh, I know those people actually care and that's the people I actually care about because I'm like, well, you guys, you're like the... Uh, it's weird when you get to a certain size numbers stop meaning anything uh but when i upload a video like this i know that the people that interact with it are like real human beings because at a certain like <laughs> sometimes i like don't believe the numbers i'm like there's two hundred thousand people watching every day that doesn't make any sense uh like that those numbers are just so like out there that the small numbers mean a lot more where you like upload a video like this that is out of the comfort zone of the channel and you see the comments on the video you see the likes on the video like those are the real people that actually matter in the l large scheme of things and i can say that stuff because i know the people that don't matter aren't here right now because they didn't click on the video for good reasons like i once again i'm never trying to blame anyone for just being like uh for only clicking on very few videos of mine because they only care for specific games they only like to see observation duty they only care about phasmo that's totally fine but i'm trying to build somewhat of a larger like narrative over the whole channel with like different games and trying to share more of a just general just be a nice little corner of the internet where i just really enjoy games i like talking about other stuff too but i tend to focus a lot on games and just how i enjoy them but anyway that's like 10 minutes of me rambling about random shit 
I hope you enjoyed the entire series. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you've played the game as well and if you enjoyed it. And let me know what you want to see next. What video do you want to see next? I think I'll definitely do a bar Borrow Trauma video just to get it out of my system because I've been so obsessed with that game. Uh, and you haven't really seen much of it. I did one video with CJ and Psycho and then I've just played like 20 hours in a week <laughs> not showing anyone. I'm trying to learn as much as possible to actually be able to make a good video. But regardless, thank you so much. I really, 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 really appreciate you. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the live streams, you can join us at twitch.tv slash instant. Or click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.